Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lex, and today I'll be showing you how to install Stardew Valley mods and how to get the modding API working. And um, in my next video that I'll be posting later this week, I'll be showing you what mods I use for Stardew Valley. Um, so quick content warning, make sure if you use any mods for Stardew Valley to back up all your saves, you don't lose any progress. Um, also be careful with modding. Sometimes, like most of the mods out there are pretty good, but you do have to be careful because sometimes there are things that could happen that could possibly corrupt your save files. Um, so now that we have that in order, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to to install Stardew mods. You need to use Nexus mods, which is the website that has all the Stardew all the Stardew mods at. So I just usually put Stardew mods Nexus mods in there and then i click the first thing it's right there it's called nexusmods.com and then before you get any of these mods like there's like there's tons of starting mods like there's there's a lot um <laughs> you're gonna want to download smappy which is the modding api the modding api that all stardew mods go through and so you're gonna wanna install this um, files. You're gonna download the most updated one. You're gonna do manual download. And then it's gonna be the slow download. I already have it downloaded, but I'm gonna show you basically how it works. So click slow download, it's not slow. It's like five seconds at most. And then I have it go straight. I have all my downloads go straight to my desktop folder. And then you have the Smappy installer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that file. And then you're gonna click install on Windows. Like that. And then this window will pop up. You just hit enter. There it goes. Extracting the install files. Sometimes it takes a minute, depending on what kind of computer you have. Um, sometimes my computer is a little bit slow. Um, so, uh, so you want to add it to your uh, game. So you'll hit one and then you'll hit one again. And then it'll install Stardew. So... You're going to want to copy this right here because this is really important. And when you copy and highlight this, um, you guys do control C, close that, close that. And then you're going to want to open Steam because if you're doing, if you're modding Stardew Valley, um, you have to do it through Steam. You can't do it through, uh, Switch or if you're doing it on mobile, it has to be through, uh, the Steam. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click browse local files. Actually, it's properties, my bad. And then in the space where you had that thing that you copy and paste it, you're gonna put it right here. I already have it here. Um, but you just copy and paste it right there, and Smappy should be good to go. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit play on Stardew. And when you do that, if this window pops up, Mappy's working. You're all good to go. Um, and then it'll show you that it's working and you're all good. So we're going to go ahead and close Stardew. Um, and then if you want to, yeah. So when you do that, um, it'll basically make it so that way if you open Stardew, It'll launch through Steam and it won't, you won't have to open the modding API inst installation. You can just use the Steam um, launching option. Um, so I'm going to show you how to like add a mod now that we have the installer. And so a mod that I think is absolutely essential is the UI info suite number two. And if you Google that mod, you do UI info suite two. You do Stardew. You're like, 
Um, it's going to be on GitHub, and so I'll also put that link in the description. Um, and you'll get to a page like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on Releases. And you're going to click the UI Info Suite zip folder. And I will go ahead and click on that. And then it'll install to your computer. And then you need to click show in folder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and throw that into my desktop folder so I can grab that for myself really quickly. And then you're going to close it out and you're going to go back to your Steam page where you have Stardew Valley. And you're going to left click it, go to manage and bro browse local files. And so then your Windows folder will pop up. And there will be a folder that says mods right here. And yeah, this is where I have all my mods. Um, you're just going to ignore this. And then you're going to go to desktop. And you are going to take the folder that says UI info suite. And you're going to drag it right here. And you're going to click on that. And then you're going to open the zip file because if you put this whole zip file in there, it's not going to work like that. You just take this folder and then you drag it into your mods folder. I'm not going to go ahead and drag it because I already have the mod working. And what you're going to do then, and just to make sure that it's all working, because sometimes I, I like to check in between each of my mods to make sure that they're working. So then I go ahead and click play. And... So now my info suite is opening. I'm info suite. My APIs or advanced yeah, it's being prepared to launch. And so what it'll do once you run all mods, it'll show you. I have a lot of mods. Um, it's gonna basically show you all the things that you have installed if it's running. Um, it'll let you know where to update mods. Um, it'll also show you if there's a mod that needs to be updated that's not running, which is really nice to see. Um, because sometimes it's not always perfect. So you're going to go through the beginning part of Stardew Valley and load up your game. Now mods, like the hub or textures, will probably show up right away. Um, so then you're going to open your game. This is just to check for the UI info suite. Just because this is not a mod that will like change the whole like farm. So if you do like Stardew Expanded... Um, this is just a uh, mod that basically gives you, like, information that I think is essential. And if you're trying to, like, play a game, but you don't want to, like, you can't remember everything, it's really helpful. And then there'll be little symbols up here. So, there'll be a, what's on the, what's the recipe, if the traveling merchant's in town, whose birthday it is, and what your luck is. Um, it'll also show you the weather at the next day if it's going to rain and it's super useful to use so i'm going to go ahead and exit that um then for any other mods that you would use you go through the same process there is a slightly different process for if you want to change the textures of things which i will show you how to do in my next video where i talk about mods um that i have because i have one mod that i actually, I actually changed the textures of the farm animals um but yeah so you go ahead and you put those mods into the mod folder and also some mods have prerequisites um so when you add the mods you have there's like it'll be like a in, requ like uh mods that are that you have to download before you have those mods so that'll be like content patcher or toolkit just some mods have like different requirements and you just got to make sure that you have those requirements um but also again be safe modding um don't be safe with your modding like just be safe it's the internet don't download things from like random subreddits uh, make sure you're going through official websites that actually check the mods and actually are make sure that the users who use them are safe. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. And my next video will be showing you the mods that I use. Because um, I use quite a bit of mods. 
So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. And if you want to keep up, uh, I have I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday over on Twitch. Um, and that's twitch.tv slash lexagon. And you can also follow me on TikTok, Twitter. Um, it's all lexagon and I'll link all that before in the description video in the description box of the video. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.